Hi, I'm Ryan West, and today I'm going to give you a quick demo of Open5GS, which is an open source 5G core and also 4G Evolved Path core that's available on GitHub. And in order to run this, we're using the Powder platform, which is part of the University of Utah. And basically, the Powder platform is a platform that researchers can use to create um, wireless experiments, and there are lots of general compute nodes available, as well as other wireless equipment, base stations, etc. Um, in this case, we're actually going to use a simulated G node B and UE instead. Um, we're going to be using UE RAN sim, which creates G node B and UEs, and we'll be running that on one node. And then on the other node, we'll be connecting that to Open5GS's 5G core. So Powder makes it really nice and easy to create experiments. Basically, what you can do is you can define how you want to set up your experiment, what, co what nodes you want to run, um, what hardware you want to use, and how it will be used. And it can set it all up, install things, configure things all for you, all with a, with a couple um, clicks. In this case, I've created this profile that uses Open5GS on one node and the UE RAN SIM um, G node Bs and UEs on the other node. And we've got some description here and instructions if you want to do it on your own, but it is quite straightforward. All you have to do is you instantiate it and you go through a few settings, like for example, you can change the number of um, user equipment that you want to be configured and generated on the SIM side, as well as change the branch. And as you keep um, selecting through, you can quickly create the experiment. Now, um, I've already created an experiment to save time. And as you can see here, this is the view of the experiment on Powder. And we've got these two nodes, Open5GS for the core and SIMRAN for the UE RAN SIM G node Bs and the um, and the user equipment. And this is another view, and you can see that we've got the same two nodes, you can SSH to them. And if you're running this yourself, you need to wait until both of these cells are finished. Right now, the SIMRAN node is still installing and configuring stuff. So you need to wait, it can take 20 to 30 minutes sometimes. But in the meantime, I can at least show you how to look at the network function status and logs on the Open5GS node. So what we're going to do is I'm going to copy this SSH command right here and SSH into the Open5GS node. We're going to elevate to root permissions, and then we're going to check the status of the various um, 5G network functions running on here. And you'll actually see, so there's the UPF, user plane function, there's some of the others, and these are all active and running, and you can see some of the logs that have been uh, spit out so far. There's actually Evolved Packet Core in here as well. There's the MME. But you've got all these different ones. And if you want to look more in detail at the logs, you can then tail the log func the logs at open 5G, var log open 5 gs and there's a bunch here. So let's turn on the AMF one. And if we look at it, it's just started recently, and we're just, it's just start to register these. So, and now it looks like in that time, our other node finished. So now we can log into that and we can actually start the D node B and the UEs. So let me do that over here. We're going to log into the RAN, the, what is that, the SIMRAN node. And we're also going to elevate to root, go to the home, and within the home, there is a URAN sim folder, which has everything we need. So first, we'll start the GNODE B. And we do that by calling this GNODE B application and giving it a config file that, I've already set, um, that has already been set up. And that will automatically connect to the 5G core. And um, as you can see, it set up the SCTP connection, and we are now connected from the GNODE B to the 5G core. Next, we'll want to do the same thing, except for not starting a GNODE B this time. We want to start an actual UE. 
So elevate to root, go to the same folder, and now instead of calling the gnode b, we're going to create a, we're going to start a UE application and pass it a auto-generated UE config file. And as you can see, I selected four UEs for this experiment in Powder. And so I can pick any of these. I'll just do zero. And that will connect. Um, and we have it start searching. We have it connect with the gnode b. And then later on, we're doing some setup with the 5G core, and we establish a PDU session. And now we have internet connectivity. Um, as you can see right here, we have a new ton interface added to this Linux box. This is all on hardware, by the way. These are not virtual machines. And the way that we test for internet connectivity is we can go back to the same um, SimRan machine. And actually, we don't need to do that. We can just look at the network interfaces now, and there is now this UE SimTun interface right here. And that represents the internet connection that the UE, the, the simulated UE has through the simulated genome B and into the 5G core. So we can test that by pinging it. Let's ping Google and we're getting, we're getting traffic back and forth. So that's working. Now, um, it can be kind of annoying if you set up a lot of UEs right now, it can support up to 10 to start them all and test them all. So what you can do instead is if I go to here, um, I can actually go into the files that the profile GitLab repository has. So if I go to local slash repository, every node that Powder sets up, it saves a copy of the repository to this directory. And so you can go to this on either node actually, but it's only going to be, this script is only going to be useful on the UE simp node. And we have this script called connect all UEs. This will figure out how many UEs that you um, parameterize that you chose to set up. It will start a connection with all of them and it will test them all for internet connectivity. So let's run that. And it started them. We saw there was a lot of output up here. We've got all these PDU sessions that started and a lot of output from the AMF log as well, since we're looking at that. And by the way, it's unnecessary to actually go into the open 5GS function at all, but I, or not function, uh, note as well. I just thought it would be helpful for you to see how to do that though. So now we'll go back to the Simran node. And now if we look at the interfaces, now we have lots of different interfaces for different um, UE connections. So let's ping this third one here the same way as we did before. And we're getting the same internet connectivity. And if we do the same thing for the fourth one, that's all working. So that's basically it. I do want to quickly show you the profile on GitLab. Um, you're welcome to fork this or make changes yourself. And anybody is free to sign up for a uh, powder profile, a powder account and instantiate this profile and mess around with, with it themselves. As you can see, this is the same scripts folder. It has that same connect all UEs um, shell file. And it also has this profile.py. And this is actually what contains all of the instructions that Powder will then use to create this two node setup and run all the installation process for each of these um, things. And they're pretty simple. They're easy to use. And so I. Um, I'd recommend that you go try it out. It's very easy and quick to figure out. So thanks.